Tu me sé man pa que ya inute. In recent weeks, President William Ruto and former Prime Minister Raila Odinga have been embroiled in a bitter and tough political tussle. Everybody must respect the rule of law and everybody is entitled to the protection of their property and of their assets and of their lives. Odinga and his supporters have been on the streets accusing the Kenya Kwanzaa administration of what they call as electoral injustice and the high cost of living. Yes, calm has been restored after Ruto and Odinga agreed to have a bipartisan engagement through the legislative route. It is not a question of who is right and who is wrong. In times like this, you have to put your house in order. It is the first political confrontation between the two leaders since William Ruto became the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. But things have turned a full circle between the two political bigwigs who are sometimes allies turned bitter political rivals. Kila mwezi jamaa natumia shilingi milioni 100 kwa harambe lakini mshahara yake ni milioni 1 na 200 peke yake. Hiyo ingine anapata wapi hiyo? Mwezi ni nani? Marafiki zake, washirika wake ndio wametuibia pesa ya wagonjwa pale kwa Kemsa. 30 years ago, Odinga, then 47, was a devoted member of the Young Turks. A group made up of activists, lawyers and intellectuals that drove the multi-party campaign against President Daniel Arap Moi. Ruto was then 25 years old. He was still finding his feet in the YK92 movement. An outfit formed to champion Moi's re-election. Assisted by a divided opposition featuring three candidates, Kenneth Njindo Matiba of Foda Sili. Mwai Kibaki of DP. All these are the most and Jaramogi Oginga Odinga of Ford Kenya, Moi retained his seat at the helm of the governance structure. While Odinga vied and won the Langata parliamentary seat on the Ford Kenya ticket, Ruto was busy navigating the infight that marred the YK92 movement after the elections. The group was later disbanded by Moi. But William Ruto took the opportunity presented by divisions in YK92 movement to build ties with power brokers in the Moi government like his favorite son Gideon Moi, Makto, and Moi's business proxy Joshua Kulei. And so by 1997 Ruto had placed himself ready for his first elective contest. He easily won the Eldoret North parliamentary seat trouncing Moi's political ally, Ruben Chesire. Odinga had retained his Langata seat but on the NDP ticket. He had ditched Ford Kenya after losing the chairmanship of his father's party to Omalo Kijana. Following the death of senior Odinga, he also stood for the presidency and came third after Moi and Mwai Kibaki. Odinga changed tact after the elections. He entered into a cooperation agreement with Daniel Moi, who was in his final term under the multi-party constitution. NDP was eventually swallowed. Odinga became the secretary general of the new Khan. But Moi had a different game plan. The merger was part of his succession program. Moi was looking at a young crop of politicians leading the independent party into the future. Elders katika bunge, kila mmoja wao akiwa mwanasiasa anasema, mimi niko na vijana. 
Among those Moe's I shined on was William Samoe Arapruto. We have no history of being losers. Who also dragged along his old YK-92 colleague. The then Lugari MP became minister. Also in Moe's lineup came Uhuru Kenyatta. He was one of the four vice chairmen alongside Noah Katanangala, Kanonzo Msioka, and Musalem Davadi. Shown the door was then Vice President George Saitoti and Kanu Secretary General JJ Kamodo, among others. William Ruto became the director of elections. Ahead of the general election, Ruto was to work closely with Odinga who was now the party secretary general. But hell broke loose after Moi finally named his successor. Odinga led a rebellion that ultimately resulted in a mass defection as powerful figures decamped to back Mike Kibaki's presidential bid. <laughs> Odinga Saitoti, Musioka and others crossed over to form the political juggernaut, the National Rainbow Coalition that took the election by storm. The die is cast. The change is inevitable. Ruto had remained in Kano to back Kenyatta. Uhuru will give that change that Kenyans uh, want and are looking for. He is a new person. We want to do the business of our country in a different way. Kibaki became president and appointed Odinga, a powerful minister for public works, roads and housing. Kenyatta became the leader of opposition and Ruto became the party's secretary general. The political arena took another twist in 2005. Raila Odinga and other key figures in the Kibaki government teamed up with Kenyatta and Ruto to drive the Orange No campaign rejecting the Wako draft of the constitution. Wounded by the outcome, President Mwai Kibaki reconstituted his government. Odinga and his cabinet colleagues in the Orange team were dropped. I have directed that the offices of all ministers and all assistant ministers become vacant. Consequently, the occupants of the said offices cease to hold their respective offices with the immediate effect. This ultimately powered the Orange team. It morphed into the Orange Democratic Movement led by Raila Odinga. Ruto and Mudavadi formed part of his key soldiers ahead of the presidential contest. Our country needs a social market economy, which is also Christian as the third way. Uhuru Kenyatta retreated and formed an alliance with Kibaki, seeking to inherit the popular Kikuyu voting bloc that will be up for grabs when Kibaki exited. Life member wetu wa chama hii yetu ya Kano. 
na mimi siku fikiria kanu watakuja tufanye kazi pamoja na ninawaomba safadhali na waomba kura yenu tafadhali thank you sana asante asante sana the contest shaped into a tough battle between Kibaki and Odinga with Ruto playing a key role in the orange campaigns Ababu Namamba explains so I spent a lot of time with him spent a lot of time with him on the campaign trail in his Rift Valley backyard in Meru especially he did a lot of campaigning in Meru in in the in the Ma land in the Ma land of Naro Ka, Kajiado and uh, and 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 Samburu and and you could see that uh, he believed in that cause he threw himself into in that campaign fully i believe he campaigned for Raila Odinga in 2007 harder than any of the members of the pentagon i believe he campaigned harder for Raila Odinga than even Raila Odinga himself campaigned for himself tailinda na kuitetea katiba ya Kenya kwa mujibu wa sheria iliyowekwa ewe mwenyezi Mungu Kibaki was declared the winner by Kenya's Electoral Commission. <coughs> what followed was widespread violence. The results were irretrievably polluted. You, sir, both of you gentlemen, were wise to come to the conclusion to appoint Eric instead of trying to do a recount. That would be impossible. To put it bluntly, nobody will ever be able to say who won or who lost this election. It was simply too bad before any results got to the KICC. When calm was restored after a peace deal was brokered by a team led by former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan, Raila Odinga joined the Kibaki government as Prime Minister. Kenyatta and Mdavadi came in as Deputy Premiers while Ruto was appointed Minister for Agriculture. He was part of ODM's team that negotiated a pact with Kibaki's PNU. But within a short time, relations between Odinga and Ruto deteriorated. Odinga ignored resentments from Ruto, who wanted to be ODM's number two, arguing that he had contributed immensely to the Odinga's presidential campaign as compared to Msalim Davadin. Then as Prime Minister, Odinga backed the ejection of settlers in the Mao Forest, most of whom were from Ruto's Kalenjin community. <laughs> ni kama ile nyani ambayo imeingia kwa sambo ya mahindi wanasaga miti kama ile mashini ya kusaga unga leo ni miaka mitatu hata mtu mmoja it touched ruto's wrong nerve kusema ya kwamba ati ya, sisi wote tufunge mdomo surely then what are we leading kwani sisi ni viongozi wa wanyama ama sisi ni viongozi wa mao sasa ananyanga jinsi mashamba ananyanga na kibaki kitu ananyanga hata hiyo kikombe hivi mafugaji one honorable william ruto minister for agriculture two honorable samuel ongeri minister for education then odinga accused him of corruption in the ministry of agriculture suspending him from his position i am taking this action because two recent investigations the forensic audit by the price waterhouse coopers on the maize scandal and the report of the internal auditor general on free primary education have laid credible foundations for the two ministers to be investigated a decision that was countermanded by president kibaki
But what appears to have melted any glue that still held the two together was the naming of William Ruto among the six alleged perpetrators of the 2007-2008 post-election violence. Ruto and Kenyatta were named in the then infamous Ocampo 6. Initially, Odinga had supported Ruto, insisting that he was a victim rather than a perpetrator. But he would later change his stance, supporting the ICC cases against Ruto and Kenyatta, who were viewed as his biggest challengers as far as the 2013 presidential election was concerned. Some argue that Odinga might have calculated that with the two out of the way, his path to State House would have been easier. But if true, then his calculations were utterly wrong, as it was to be proved later. <laughs> The ICC problem will become a unifying factor for the Uhuruto pair. They won the election, and again in 2017, where Ruto had a serious and animated go against Raila Odinga. Uhuru Kenyatta ndio rais na mimi ndio deputy president. Watoto wa Kenya watafanya mtihani my friend. But then came the 2018 handshake that saw President Kenyatta switch sides to support Odinga. Na sisi Kwa kanuni moja, tumesema ya kwamba tunataka candidate ambaye atasimama uchaguzi na kugombania kiti ya urais mwezi wa August. Na kwa kauli moja, tumeamua ya kwamba huyo simu ingine isipokuwa Raila Amoro Odinga. Today I repeat the same declaration. Let my people go. Free them from bondage of thieves, free them from the bondage of liars, and free them from the chain, chain links of corruption. Ruto Whitley crafted a youthful team that took the campaigns by storm. We will overcome. Enough is enough. And freedom is coming. On Tuesday, the people of Kenya will prevail over the deep state. The people of Kenya will prevail over the system. And we are going to have a nation that leaves no Kenyan behind. Well, as per the pronouncement of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission and the expression of the Supreme Court of Kenya, Ruto will triumph over Raila Odinga in what is seen as a historical victory for the first time in the history of Kenya. A vice or deputy president was taking over 
after winning a presidential election. My name is Enoch Sikolia and this is the Kenyan Historian.